What up, my name is Philip Martin. I've closed over a million dollars in business for myself and my clients. And today on the topic of decision-making facilitation, I actually wanna talk about, talk about something that I think is not talked about nearly enough at all. And that being the art of allowing and actually allowing things to be easy in sales. Even to me, I enjoy kind of like the game of it, like, like the gotcha of it, right? I like that. I like where winning, so to speak, but it's always a win-win, right? But I like obviously closing the sale. That it feels great. Everybody knows that. Okay. So one part of that, one aspect of that, and one reason that I do close so many sales and my ratios are so high is because I don't make things harder than they need to be. I don't talk myself out of deals. I don't say stupid things at the last minute when um, you could blow the deal. I shut the hell up when I'm drawing answers out of people and I'm letting them sit on their, sit on their hands, sit on their thoughts, sit on their mind and I'm waiting for them to respond. And I will, I can sit through anything. I will sit through it for until they say a word. I mean, you know, maybe after 30 seconds, you might want to say, uh, you okay, buddy? But beyond that, we're sitting through it and we're making them sweat. You understand me? We're going to make these people sweat. If you don't know how to make these people sweat, you're never really going to get what you want. And you got to be able to say no. And that's part of it. I was talking to a guy today. We had like so many similarities um, in this one company. It's a self-help company uh, that I work for. And this guy had so many issues that I've literally been through myself. And he literally said this to himself out loud like several times, I want to do the program, I want to do the program. So you know what I didn't do? Take him through a whole ass sales call. I didn't, he, you need to be able to gauge where people are as soon as they get on so that you're not trying to arm wrestle people when they are not needing that. Why would you do that? Don't do that. So, I just wanted to drop those little tips on you guys here today. We got just some nice scenery here with us. It's beautiful outside. It's summer in Austin. And um, this is something you're going to use in every aspect of your life. If you can't accept things that are happening that are like being good while they're being good, then you're going to mess it up. You're going to mess it up because the same thing in, for example, like chiropractics, right? At the moment of a sale, something's about to shift. Just like in chiropractor, something's about to shift in that person's mind. And just like in chiropractor, like with the body, right? The body as well. And what do they tell you to do as a chiropractor? You have to relax. You literally have to relax. And so if you can't have that, you know, self-control over your nervous system, you're not going to be able to relax. And it's just going to be really... Uh, sad when you talk yourself out of a lot of deals at the last minute when you could have just kept your mouth shut and made some money. But no, you had to talk. Somebody had to hear what you had to say. So um, I would just reiterate one final time here that the art of allowing and the art of controlling your and tapping into your own inner nervous system. So you're in control of your mouth, in control of your body, in control of your muscles. You're not tensing up. You're not jiggling of foot or something weird the moment of the sale you you you're you're like dead silence it's just like all on them you've you've cleared the path for them to make a decision and you you've created the space for them to do so and now they're doing it let them do it don't stop that process so that's what i'm gonna leave you with guys 